Thank you, Donna. Good morning, everyone. How are you? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get started and just I'll give everybody one more minute. I know it's the Sunday after Thanksgiving, so we may all be um, moving a little slower here. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm sharing in the chat a link to a YouTube um, a specific YouTube soundtrack uh, by a organization called Meditative Mind. And Meditative Mind um, basically pro provides chakra-based um, instrumental sound recordings. And um, so you can look for each chakra, you can have it playing in the background. Right now I have the heart chakra um, soundtrack playing in the background because today we're gonna be working with the heart chakra. And I use this meditative mind um, channel on YouTube, um, just again, to have it playing in the background in my apartment. And um, it's just a really nice way to bring in the vibration of that chakra that I feel I need to focus on. I use the root chakra 90% of the time. Uh, the root chakra also helps my pet. Because um, for those of you who may do um, healing or healing touch for animals, uh, um, the chakra that's most prominent for animals is the root chakra. So it's very comforting uh, to just have that in the background, not only for myself, but for my, for my cat. And if you have dogs, that applies to them as well. So anyway, welcome. Good morning. Thank you, everyone, for taking time um, this morning to join uh, this group. Uh, we all um, really, I feel like to connect with fellow Reiki masters or students that have worked with Alice and bring that energy together. Um, many of us have spent the week with togetherness and connection, either with friends or family or not. Um, so I'd like to use this space and this time to help us to not only focus on ourselves and maybe bring some of that energy that we've expended or shared back into ourselves, and then turn, in turn, go ahead and um, share it back out to the world from a different space, from a heart chakra or heart-centered space. And not to imply that we're not already operating on that level, but I think again, after a, a holiday week, I felt it would be nice to just come together with the heart chakra as our focus. And I'll explain my perspective and share with you what I do and view um, regarding the heart chakra. And so I invite you to consider uh, the things that I say today, but then of course, as always, bring in your own, uh, whatever it is that you bring to this information and blend it with your own knowledge and your own practice. So if you haven't already, I'm gonna ask everyone to, to please go ahead and silent your cell phone. Maybe go ahead and do the Reiki symbols in your palms if you haven't done that already as part of your morning practice. Get as comfortable as you can in whatever chair or surface you're sitting on. Just so you know, I'm standing. I'm at my sit-stand desk. So if you see me rocking back and forth, it's because I'm moving my energy and, and uh, just basically staying in the, the um, grounded space that works well for me. So I hope it's not too distracting. And when you're ready, I'd like you to go ahead and consider just taking some nice, gentle breath. I'm gonna share something about breath for a moment that I felt was helpful to share. And that is, there's no right or wrong way of breathing. But you also wanna consider that when you're trying to calm down, you don't really wanna take a deep inhalation. A lot of us have heard when we're upset, say, take a deep breath. You know? And actually taking a deep breath activates the system that is in the fight or flight. So to help calm us down, we wanna take a really gentle, slow inhalation, it doesn't have to be deep. We wanna extend our exhalation. So at this time, I'd like you to consider going ahead and taking an inhalation, nice and gentle inhalation for maybe three or four counts. And then an exhalation for anywhere from six to eight. 
Again, there's no right or, way, wrong, right or wrong way of breathing. Some of us find comfort in breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to lead you through a grounding meditation. And then we're going to bring that energy from Mother Earth back up into our own body, into our heart center. And then I'll pause and I'll talk a little bit about the heart chakra. And then we'll go into a heart-centered meditation. So at this time, as you're doing your gentle inhalations and exhalations, I'd like you to go ahead and follow your exhalation down your body so that the exhalation brings your awareness down through your center and your core, down into your hips, down your legs, and then eventually become aware of your feet or the base of your spine. And use your exhalations again to bring your awareness to the base of your body and its connection with Mother Earth. You may be sitting in a chair, laying in a surface, laying on a bed. Imagine that your energy and your awareness is going beyond your feet or the base of your spine and reaching down into the floorboards, down into the foundation of the building that you're in. And then reaching eventually the soft, cool soil layers of Mother Earth. It's an extension of your energy. It's not a replacement. You're simply reaching down for that stabilizing, grounding, loving energy that Mother Earth provides us at all times. So imagine, sense, or visualize your energies reaching down into the soil and the layer of sand beneath that. It's like a tree reaching down, getting stronger and more resilient down into layers of clay and bedrock. And if visualization can be a bit of a challenge for you, just try to remember and feel your root chakras, your legs, your feet, and feel how firmly they're planted or laying or resting on the earth or on the floor. So again, with every extended exhalation, your energy is reaching further down into mother earth, connecting, Connecting with the layers of bedrock easily and effortlessly. Connecting with the underground rivers. Connecting deeper and stronger as your energy reaches down all the way to the core of Mother Earth. Now we all know that the core, or the center of Mother Earth is a layer of magma. Just imagine your energy easily and effortlessly reaching down all the way to the heart of Mother Earth. And you can imagine it like the central sun itself, bright, warm, welcoming, nourishing. Some like to visualize it as a crystalline palace. And in your own way, allow your energy to connect with this heart of Mother Earth in whatever way makes sense for you, anchoring permanently and firmly. Imagine her energy surrounding your roots, embracing them. Allow yourself to feel that love, that nourishment, 
the replenishing unconditional love that she offers every one of us at all times, whenever we need it, even if we're not even aware of what we need, reaching down into this restorative energy can really help us feel connected to ourselves and connected to our root and connected to unconditional love. So when you're ready, I want you to go ahead and become aware, consider observing your body at this time. Does it feel more relaxed? Does it feel calm? Does it feel lovingly anchored? It's helpful to remember this feeling so that you can visit this sensation or this visualization whenever you need it. And now I invite you to use your inhalation to draw in everything that you need, whether you're aware of it or not. Sometimes this can be a challenge for those of us who are helpers or healers, givers. It's important that we receive and allow ourselves to receive the love and support, the nourishment and the energy that we need. And even if you can't put words to it, just allow it to come in with your inhalation. We'll stay in this space for a few seconds. I invite you to go ahead and ask Mother Earth to provide you with whatever you need, whether you're aware of it or not, and allow this energy to come in to your imaginary roots that have anchored into her heart. With every inhalation, you drink it in and drink it up easily and effortlessly like a water through straw. And begin to draw it in and up back towards your physical self with every inhalation. Imagine this energy replenishing you, replenishing you and restoring you back up through the layers of magma, easily and effortlessly through the layers of bedrock. And imagine, sense, or visualize, if you can, that every layer of Mother Earth offers something new that you may need and allow this energy to come in and replenish you. Continue to draw this energy in and up through the layers of underground rivers and more bedrock. Up through the layers of clay and sand and soil, reaching easily and effortlessly back up through the foundation of the building you're in, the floorboards, and then eventually re reaching your physical self. Allow this energy to fill your feet or the base of your spine with all that you need to feel supported, grounded, nourished and loved. Take a moment to really feel this groundedness and center yourself around this energy. And when you're ready, with every inhalation, allow this energy to reach up into your ankles, your lower legs, your knees, 
your upper legs, reaching all the way to the bone marrow of your being, restoring you, strengthening you, up into your hips, up into your organs and your spine, one vertebrae at a time, reaching up into your rib cage, allowing this energy to reach around and go into every rib as if it's embracing your heart center. And I want you to take a moment to, con to try to be aware of your heartbeat if you can. And if you can't, that's okay. Just imagine it calmly, but strongly beating. And I invite you to try to connect again with the heart of Mother Earth and see if you can connect with the rhythm of her heart as well. Just to reinforce and remember that connection that we just established. Now allow this connection to expand your heart center with every inhalation or exhalation. Imagining if you can your, your heart center growing more brilliant and bright like the core of Mother Earth herself, like her own heart center. Expanding with every inhalation and or exhalation. Reaching out into every cell of your physical body. Not only is this helping us to be grounded and connected and resonating with the energy and the love of Mother Earth, it's also helping us to raise our vibration by being centered in our energy, grounded and attuned to the vibration of the heart center for raising our vibration. important to raise our vibration and keep it as high as we can throughout healing sessions or throughout our day. It is, it is something to help start your day with and resonate with that energy, that healing energy. So the heart center, what we're focusing on today. And as I'm talking, just gently allow your awareness to stay with your heart center, inhalations and exhalations. And for those of us who are more, more visual, you can imagine this heart centered energy, brilliant and white. or brilliant and green, which is the vibration of the heart chakra. 
Some people also see it as pink. Our heart center, when we focus on it, can help us to expand our compassion. And in a moment, we'll do a meditation that expands that compassion and that heart-centered love out into the universe, out into the world. But for the moment, feel it for yourself. Extend that compassion from your heart center to every cell of your physical body. I invite you to consider at times when you're we're tuning into your heart center to add some toning or a vocalization of the sound of the heart center, which is A as in play. So A. A. It sounds a little like an E, so I apologize. But A. And allow that vibration to really reinforce that energy that's pulsing through you right now by activating your heart center. A. If you're a musical person or you enjoy music, you can focus on the note F. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to play that note for you at the moment, but there are apps that you can download for that, but the note F. So if you know that there's a song or a musical piece in the key of F, you can have that playing in the background when you're working with your heart center or you can just continue to tone the vowel A as in play. And as I'm talking, just allow that heart-centered energy to continue to flow throughout your physical body, maybe reinforcing it with the vowel. Remembering that the stone rose quartz can bring that energy to you as well. The heart center helps us to quiet judgment that may bubble up about ourselves or about others. So as you tune into your heart center, release whatever feelings, or words that may bubble up for you around judgment, just release them at this time with this heart-centered energy. The heart center is the center of balance between who we are physically and who we are spiritually. It's the bridge between our physical being and our spiritual being. By activating our heart center and focusing on it, we can help to connect ourselves spiritually when perhaps we have something physically going on and bring that balance between the light being that we are and the physical being that we are. The heart center is the bridge between who we are as a unique individual and who we are as a connected individual to 
to all that dwell on this planet. Again, take a moment to use the vowel A to continue that vibration of the heart center. A. A. The heart center also governs the vagus nerve. For those of you who may have been familiar with the vagus nerve, the nerve that connects pretty much every organ in our body. And much of the current stress in our society or in our own lives can really be calmed by bringing that loving energy to our vagus nerve. You may want to consider holding your hands on either side of your neck. I find it really helpful to use that vowel A. And just feel that vibration. The vagus nerve goes from the base of our head alongside the neck on either side and reaches down into pretty much every organ in our body. And as you're inhaling and exhaling, allow whatever sound to come out if it's not the vowel, whatever you find you need to release. holding the vagus nerve and focusing on your heart center, and allowing whatever sound to come out can just really calm your body from head to toe. When you're ready, just bring your hands back to your heart center. And at this time, we're gonna shift our awareness and connect with the divine source. I invite you to bring in whatever is your divine perspective connection. We're gonna reach our energy up to connect or out for those of us who don't feel it's a connection like a line into the heart of Mother Earth, maybe out and up, whatever works for you. Just like we reached down with our energy to connect with the heart of Mother Earth, we're gonna reach up and connect with our divine source. This is a very powerful meditation that helped to reinforce the bridge of who we are spiritually and who we are as a human dwelling on the earth. So when you're ready, go ahead and become aware of your heart center. Once again, feeling it pulsating and vibrating throughout your entire body. Focus on your heart center and its energy. And with every exhalation, imagine, sense, or visualize your heart center energy reaching up to every vertebrae, up into your neck, up into your skull, your jaw, your brow, the crown of your head.
And when you're ready, allow this energy to come out the crown of your head. And just like we reached our energy, like roots into the earth, imagine, sense, or visualize your energy reaching up out into your, from your crown into the ceiling and the roof above you. Taking comfort in knowing that you're anchored firmly and permanently to the energy of Mother Earth. This allows you to reach even further. And imagine your energy reaching up into the cloud layer. Up into the Earth's atmosphere, stratosphere, ionosphere. All those energetic layers of Mother Earth that are reflective of our own chakras and our own energy field. Allow your energy to reach further beyond all the layers of Mother Earth in her atmosphere, past the planets. Imagine your energy reaching up past our sun. And at this point, wherever your energy, whatever your awareness is and your belief of any kind of divine source, I invite you to bring that into your visualization. You connect with a planet or a star or simply a cloud in the heavens, whatever works for you. Replace whatever I'm saying with what resonates with you most. And allow your energy to connect and anchor to this divine source. Imagine your energy anchoring permanently into the energy of this divine source, being embraced, welcomed, filled with unconditional love. Once again, allow whatever to come into your energy that you need, whether you're aware of it or not, to replenish you and restore you. Invite it, allow it, receive it easily and effortlessly. This unconditional love radiates out in all directions and embraces your energy from this divine perspective. I invite you to consider at this time, imagining, sensing, or visualizing the divine perspective, looking down this cord of energy down to where you are on planet Earth. And allow yourself to be seen as the divine sees you. A radiant, a radiant, vibrant, loving, worthy being. Complete, whole, connected, and vibrating with the heart-centered energy that is always there, waiting for your awareness.
And at this time, you can ask specifically for anything that you need. If there's specifically something you want from divine energy at this time to fill you, to restore you. And allow this energy to come into you and your energetic beam of light that we've sent and extended. And then with every exhalation, begin to draw this energy in and down, cascading like a waterfall of brilliant golden or blue, whatever color comes to you, allowing this energy to fill your energetic beam of light, bringing it back down to your physical body. down past the galaxies, down through and past our own planets, our central sun, allowing this energy to cascade down towards your physical being through the layers of Mother Earth atmosphere. drawing with it in everything that you need, whether you're aware of it or not. This waterfall of unconditional love and light reaches through the cloud layer and through the roof of the building that you're in and connects with your crown chakra at the top of your head. Once again, allow this energy to fill you from head to toe, uniting the Earth's energy at your heart center and imagine it growing even brighter and more resilient than when we started. Now that we feel restored, anchored, and connected, both physically and with our divine selves, I invite you all to consider sharing this energy, allowing it to radiate out from your heart center. I like to imagine a spiral at my feet going clockwise, starting like a small circle around the, my feet on the ground, and with every rotation, getting wider and wider and wider so that this energy extends beyond my physical body, out into the room or the environment that I'm in. Sharing this vibratory energy anchored in Mother Earth and sourced by the divine. With every turn of the spiral, it extends further out to the building that I'm in. Imagine this energy extending beyond the building that you're in and maybe to your immediate neighborhood.
cascading this vibratory light and love out into the neighborhood. I like to imagine it blanking, blanketing the area, with just a golden light out into the town. Extending out to the county or the region that I'm in, that you're in. And if visualizations are a challenge, I invite you to consider taking your finger and just tracing a spiral shape, either on your thigh or on a surface that's close by. Sometimes that tactile reinforcement, that setting intention to sharing that energy in that shape is all that we need to do. So again, allowing that spiraling energy to radiate out in all directions, extending to your region, extending to your state, imagining or sensing or visualizing it being shared with every living being, animal, human, insect, Imagine it radiating out to this part of the United States or the part that you're in at this time. Blanketing the continent, the ocean. And eventually the entire planet. There's a particular part of the planet that you feel needs more love, more healing. Allow it to come into your awareness at this time. And within that spiral, just imagine that that energy is radiating all the brighter to that place on Earth so that every living being feels this vibratory love that we can collectively share with the world. When you're ready and you feel this is complete for you, allow the spiraling energy to slow or to continue without your needing it to continue your awareness. In other words, allow yourself to pull your energy back in towards yourself or your awareness in towards yourself by feeling your feet on the floor or your spine at the base of the chair. And at the same time, feeling your heart center and your crown chakra. Trusting that whatever energy that you've just shared with the world will continue in the way that it needs to continue. And you're bringing your awareness back to your center 
and to your body. Gently become aware of sounds in your environment, your sensations on your skin. It can be helpful to become aware of your own breath again or your own heartbeat. Once again, feel that simultaneous connection with the heart of Mother Earth and your divine source, radiating through your heart center. Take a nice gentle inhalation and extended exhalation. Repeat that a couple times. And when you feel you're fully centered and back into your own awareness of your own body and ready to share, gently open your eyes or whatever you feel comfortable doing, taking a sip of water and coming back to start your day. So in the chat, for those of you who may not have seen it yet, I put a connection, I put a link to a YouTube video, and it's really not a video, it's an auditory, but it has a beautiful graphic. It's from an organization, for lack of a better word, called Meditative Mind. And I was explaining at the beginning of our meeting today that I play this in the background. This has been playing in the background this whole time really helpful to use this auditory source to help raise your vibration. In my case, I often will have the root chakra playing in the background um, throughout the day. Um, it's just a really helpful thing to have to help raise the vibration to whatever chakra needs the most attention. And um, if I need to focus on a particular chakra, you, you can identify any chakra through this channel, the meditative mind channel. So I invite you to consider working with that. So thank you everybody for joining me in that today. Um, many of us have just come back from a, a week of being with family or in some instances, myself included in years past, uh, I think holiday alone. Um, so there can be a wide variety of emotions and memories or not that come up and come forward. So the heart chakra, I find it very purposeful that this is the week that I cover the, the heart chakra. Um, so anyway, uh, we have a few minutes, we have about 10 minutes. So if anybody wants to share or ask a question or whatever, this is the time to do it. I invite you all to, at your own pace, um, being mindful of the time, at your own pace, come forward and share if you feel up, if you if you feel like you'd like to. Well, Shar, thank you. My goodness, this is my first time experiencing your leadership, and you're a natural. This was uh, such a pleasure. I really appreciated the 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 visualizations and all the lovely detail and making it inclusive for us to sort of focus on the things that were resonated for ourselves and i particularly enjoyed uh the prompts for the chanting using the vowel and to have a little bit of that uh, vibration happening in my personal space was just very lovely so great way to start today thank you thank you I also wanted to say thank you, Shar. Um, you have a really nice grounding presence and very calming. And um, it's a great way to start the week. I kind of felt myself floating, but um, but anyway, I I always feel better, and um, I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you for that. Thank you. I do. I do want to add. Um, 
it's super important, regardless of what we do. This is an opinion, so you can put it in the box behind you of opinions, but um, it's super important from my perspective as a healer to be grounded really well um, when, before and during any meditative practice or before we work with clients so that we are that kind of rock and grounding energy for ourselves and others. And I, I learned that the hard way. It, it took me a while to really get that um, because I was feeling very drained and I would take on the energy of my client or the environment that I'm in or whatever. And it really took a while for me to get to a place of, of being centered and grounded in my own energy. So I wasn't taxed and like, overextended. So that's why I like to bring that grounding meditation into everything that I do. So, well, you do it very well. Thank you. Um, I just like to add that um, the heartbeat of the earth is so important. I used to attend the prayer vigil for the earth, which was presented by all the indigenous leaders on this continent. Alice went with me one year. And that was central to everything, was the heartbeat of the earth. And that is the drum beat. And it's also the beat of their dance when they're walking in a circle. So thank you very much for bringing that up and bringing it back into my life. Thank, thank you for sharing. That sounds really powerful. It sounds like a really powerful experience. Yeah. I would love to say that that was spectacular. It was both deeply, deeply grounding and really expansive. And uh, yeah, super grateful. Thank you, Shara. It was really just off the charts amazing. And um, yeah, just happy to be joining you all. I don't typically join you because it's usually 7 a.m. on West Coast. So it's nice to be out here on the other side of the uh, nation and be able to join you all. And, yeah, that was just spectacular. I'm just, yeah, love. It'd be an amazing way to start the day and just be vibrating to every living being throughout the day. So I'm just yeah, kind of wordless, but super grateful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Susie. I want to just share also that I, if we had more time, I would have brought our attention back from the planet to ourselves a little bit slower. So I encourage you if you do try this to, you know, or work with this type of meditation um, to make sure that you're super grounded and connected before extending all your energy out and then maybe take a little bit more time to bring your awareness back in um, more slowly because um, that can be kind of disjointed. You know, we're all the way out here, then all of a sudden we have to be in here. So, um, but thanks, Susie, for sharing that. I was tempted, by the way, when we were starting to go up into the, stratosphere to to draw attention to your background but I thought well <laughs> just but I love your background it's hilarious so I thought that's totally appropriate for what we're doing so mm -hmm. thank you Shara thank you so much that was just wonderful and exactly what I needed I mean I had uh, the whole family over for Thanksgiving so a lot of energy in the house and picking up um, and I really loved your advice about being grounded before you go into those situations. So I feel like I'm ready for Christmas with that tip. <laughs> uh, but um, the, the chanting and the prompt about the tonal intonation, the A is in play, that was really so super helpful for me. Um, and I'm gonna try that uh, on my own, but uh, really felt it for a long time had a lot of monkey mind, but then all of a sudden it switched. And then it was these these just different disparate memories coming in and out. And just uh, by the time we brought our awareness out, I was just fully, fully present. So thank you. Thanks, Char. Um, yeah, I also appreciated the facilitation and I liked that um, the shift to the tone, the 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 mantra, the syllable, because it I think it helped keep me focused and present. So I did feel um, a shift of 
like there is definitely a shift from the way I was feeling before. I had kind of a rough, like, you know, start to my morning, like waking up and stuff and didn't get that, you know, good of a sleep. And so this helped me feel a little bit better. Um, yeah. And, you know, I appreciate it. Thank you. You. Anybody else want to say anything? And I appreciate you, uh, your feedback and everything. It helps me to understand what to bring into the other chakra. We're going to be going up in the chakras the next time I share, which is at the end of uh, the third, sorry, fourth week of the month. Um, but yeah, I think appreciate Liz, you mentioning too, you're shared your space with people. So, you know, as, as the days and also Ashley, you know, just kind of feeling that energy post holiday, um, allowing that energy to radiate out in your environment to kind of reinforce what we did today, just walking around using that tone. I find just getting back to that tone along, you know, is fun just kind of walking around and with that tone just over and over again. And people don't necessarily know that you're not humming something, you know, so it can be helpful. But anyway, thank you for sharing, Ashley and Liz. Appreciate it. So yeah, we're going to be working with. Uh, I'll be working with the um, throat chakra next time we meet. Um, and again, I invite you to to consider the YouTube channel to get, get reinforce what we did today. And I say this to my clients that you know really try to remember the energy of where we were. And I appreciate. Um, think of it as Claudia. Claudia shared in the chat that you know just feeling that, and Liz mentioned it too, just really try to remember that feeling. The more we remember what it feels like to be grounded or connected, um, the easier it'll be next time when we either host something or we have a rough morning or whatever. So thank you for sharing. Your Sorry, I th I didn't see anything in the chat. Did, did I, I don't know if I missed something or did you say the link was in the chat? Would it still be there? YouTube, I'll go ahead and... Um, uh resend it just in case because i did it before it was recording so maybe that's the key okay okay now i see it yeah um, thank you yeah actually I, I didn't include all of the part in there i mean yeah so basically it's called meditative mind and it's a collection they have a bunch of things but a collection of shocker based audio only tracks uh, one of the ones i use frequently that i really like is the crown chakra that for sleep and what it does is it does a black screen on the visual of YouTube. So you're not looking at something and it'll just play in the background for nine hours, nine minutes and nine seconds. So you've got that crown chakra vibration playing in the background while you're sleeping, because that's where our energy goes. When we sleep, we go into our upper chakras and connect to the, um, the divine energy. And so it's I find it really helpful to use sometimes, especially if I'm having trouble sleeping or whatever. So. Well, thank you, everybody. I hope you all have a lovely week and um, um, look forward to seeing you next time we all get together. So thanks safe. again. Uh, good seeing everyone. Have a good week. Have a great weekend, everyone.